Hey now, back the fuck away from my begonias. My wife will ring my bell if those get trampled. Always interrupting me during my me time, you are. <sighs> but alas, you've yet to let me down with a feature. President. Oh, yes. President. This feels quality, mate. Feels like it's from World War fucking two era. Jesus, the texture is rugged and clean. Oh, touch it. Oh, so good. You mean to tell me there are brands still making things to last? I guess we're not all iPhone zombies after all. You saying that after a rinse, this beauty won't end up looking like it went through a budget airline's baggage handling? Hmm. Like how those bare crew necks from those Ralph Lauren and Polo bricks seem to multiply faster than rabbits, even though their quality's as elusive as Bigfoot. <clears throat> my cousin's got a collection of my Ivy League hand-me-downs that could outfit a sorority house. I can't stress the feel of this jacket enough. It's rigid, but comfortable. Japanese slub cotton, don't you know? It has a little give, but sturdy enough to keep you feeling secure in it. The snaps on the flat pockets are rugged. I'm not afraid of popping one off. The horn buttons are hearty and noticeable. Sexy AF, as the young uns sometimes say. And hey, do you know what other button is sexy AF? That fucking subscribe button. Pause this and hit that fucking thing right now. And surprise, surprise, once again, as if I even had to fucking look. It's only bloody made in Italy. I wouldn't expect this package from anywhere else. This is all brought to you by the creative director Guido Biondi, who adds to his family history paying homage to his grandfather, founder of Seven Bell SPA, the very first producer in Italian denim. Now, unless you feel like getting your hands dirty at the rate of zero dollars per hour, kindly fuck off and leave me in my happy place. They say the feel of earth on your hands soothes anxiety, but having these smucks roll up on me so frequently has my stomach in knots.